<clears throat> this is a brief tour of my Honda Element Camper. I've been trying to build one of these for many years now, and I'll put some pictures and links and stuff of what it used to look like. Um, eventually, I did find a company that makes this whole platform. It's called Freeway Camper, and I will put it in the description. What you're looking at here is a prototype. This is not the final product, but it will look very similar to this. It is all made out of wood. Um, it has many configurations. Uh, it's, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You can take pieces off and move them around. It's amazing how well designed this thing is. Um, you can make it a double bed. You can make it a single bed. Um, in this case here, it's in a single bed configuration. You can see it has a sink, shelving, and a space for a fridge. Um, this is the bed platform here. I have cushions that aren't here yet. I'm going to move the seat forward. 2010 Honda Element is different than the 2003-2006 series. And the difference is the seats do not go forward. So it is a little more cramped than the older models. Also some issues with the 2010 model where the um, center console does not give you enough room I had to take it out and replace it with an older center console but anyway the final product that they are selling um, well obviously might be much better than this um, I have a cheap sink soap removable dish this is my water tank everything's powered by the Jackery now I started running this Jackery Friday morning at 7 a.m. running the fridge which again their fridge is going to be different than the one in the final product this is a fridge and a freezer if you put the partition in it's a dual zone so now that's a freezer all the way down to whatever zero or whatever and then this is your fridge which is you can adjust them to two different temperatures as you can see that obviously draws more power. Back to the Jackery. I have been running this fridge since seven o'clock uh, uh, Friday morning, and it is four o'clock on Sunday, and I'm down to 30%. That's without any charging or anything. Um, yeah, there can be another bed here. Let's slide this forward. There can be another bed here if you don't have the sink and the uh, shelving unit in there but I wanted to set it up as a single bed for now um, I have this is my iPad for with cellular which gives me live TV you can watch cable TV I have a bigger iPad 12 inch iPad as well that's all powered off the Jackery um, fire extinguisher shelving sink now all right so the unit they're selling actually has a real water pump and everything um, because you could probably shower with it theirs is a pull out shower I have a different configuration here this is called a water port this is an eight gallon tank uh, that sits on the roof of your car it's pressurized by the city water pressure itself so no pumps needed at all however you can buy a pump here and pump it up in case you run out of pressure or use a bicycle pump. so this is eight gallons of water drinkable um, if you leave it in the Sun all day it's hot water so you could actually hook up a coil hose and take a shower or push yourself off or whatever so that's why I have a smaller tank than what they're selling we have a coffee maker a stove fry pan food wireless charger for your phone and also a ton of USB and USB-C that's nice uh, carbon monoxide sensor a uh, temperature humidity also got a fan that'll be here next week and some other things the cushions are still on order obviously theirs comes with the cushions of the final product storage well lots of storage I started out with uh, cheap Walmart 
plastic crates and they were starting to crack. This is made by Big Ant. These things are indestructible and they fold completely flat in case you want to use the space. So I have three of these, one in the front and two in the back. And then there is some space in the middle, which I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna put down there. And this little piece here folds up and then you push the seat back. And there you go. It's a little tight fit, but you know, if I had a, um, an older Honda, then this seat would go completely forward. There is a guy that sells a twist around seat, but it's ridiculously expensive and a lot of modification to the vehicle. So that's it. Um, oh yeah, one last thing. I did install, now this is a kind of a joke here, but it's true, pull to eject. This is a, um, a way to get out through the hatch. It's not normally part of the Honda. It actually pulls the handle. I mean, even when the door's locked, it doesn't work, so it still retains the security. So that's it. This is just something I've been trying to build for a long time. Uh, it's great for overlanding, camping, bugging out, whatever you want to do, prepping. Or just for fun, you know. Um, I'm going to make some more changes, so stay tuned, subscribe, because you're going to see a ton of other little customizations or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of storage space under the sink, by the way, I forgot to mention. I could put a drain in, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, one other important thing. On the final product, there are cargo nets on all the open bays here, so it keeps all your gear in. So the way I have it now, there's a lot of storage under the sink. And then when you're done, you just dump the water out. And their tank is way bigger than what I've got. So this is only like 2.5 gallons or whatever. So um, if you got any questions, drop them in the description. I'll see if I can answer them. I also have screens that go on the windows. They do sell, there's a screen that goes here. This is a Jackery power cord, so you can actually charge it up while you're driving. And uh, you could even charge it off of solar. If it runs for that long, then, you know, I mean, a 100 watt solar panel would keep this fridge freezer running indefinitely. And it's really nice. Not even if you're not even camping, but you go food shopping or you go to a restaurant you want to throw some food in there and don't have to worry about it uh, going bad on the way home or whatever you can stop into another place so I still have to finish this wood sand it down and everything um, work on the shelves the nets you know everything but I love it this is why I mean there's so many people that customizing these these vehicles because they're so Amazing. I wish Honda made them in a newer version, but they never did. Um, so, thanks for watching.